First thing to notice here is that the question's got a star, so we're going to be assessed by the quality of the way we write our answer. Second thing to notice is the diagram is not drawn accurately. We can't get protractors out of measure. We've got to use logic and, more than logic, angle facts. So we must use our angle facts to solve this question. It's for four marks. <clears throat> now, this is a parallelogram. This means this line and this line are parallel, and this line and this line are parallel. We're told that ADB is 38, this one's 38, A to D to B, B to E to C, so B to E to C is 41, and D to A to B, so D to A to B is 120. <clears throat> Calculate the size of angle X. You must give reasons for your answer. Okay, first things first. Let's just um, think really carefully. If I'm going to rub everything out I've got here so far. Now, if that line and that line are parallel, then we can use our angle facts to say that this angle and the whole of this angle must be interior angles and as such add up to 180. Okay? So these two angles add up to 180. So we can say that angle BAD and let's say ADC, ADC are interior and sum and add up to or add up to 180 degrees. Okay, so if I call this here, if I call this, let's say Y, we can say that 120, this angle, plus 38, this angle, plus y must add to 180. So what's y? Well, 120 plus 38 is 158, so y must be 180 subtract 158. So 180 subtract 158 is 22. y is 22 degrees. So we've got that, y is 22 degrees there. Now, um, how could we find x? Well, what we could do is we could find this angle here. Now, this angle here is going to be DEC. So we can say that angle DEC must be 180 subtract 41 because it's on a straight line with 41. So it must be 180 subtract 41 degrees and write y angles on straight line add to 180. So 180 subtract 41 is 139. So this angle is 139 degrees. So this one's 139. Now I can find x, the missing angle, because I know DEC is a triangle. So in triangle DEC, uh, all angles add to 180, add to 180 degrees. So therefore, um, 139 plus this one we found earlier, 22, plus x is equal to 180. So x must be 180, subtract these two. So x must be 180, subtract 139, and subtract 22, which is 19 degrees. And x is equal to 19 degrees, and we're done.